welcome back to our channel. Today is a very exciting day for me because it's finally time to pack my hospital bag. So as of today, I am 35 weeks. And since I'm going to be induced at 37 weeks or around there, I figured I probably should have it ready. And we live an hour away from the hospital, so I probably should start bringing it to appointments with me as well. So I actually have already started packing it. As I was getting some things in, I just started putting it in. But I'm gonna show you guys everything that I have in my bag. And then the more exciting bag of all of Ivy's stuff will come after that. And that's what I know is the most fun out of all of this. And then Garrett still hasn't packed his bag yet because he claims that he doesn't own enough clothes to throw in a couple pairs of sweats yet. So he will be the one that's packing last minute. So obviously I'm a first time mom and I really had no idea what to pack. I've been watching, which this is probably cringy, but I've been watching like the pack my hospital bag with me videos on YouTube because I just have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to pack. So if you have been a mom before, you probably are gonna judge me a little bit, but hey, after this one, I'll learn, and then for the next kid, I'll be able to pack better, but let's just get right into it. So the other day, I decided to go to Target and get these, like, very popular nursing bras. I think everybody brings these, and they just, like, fold down. There's, they don't have padding in them, so they're just, like, super comfortable, super soft. And so I wanted these ones kind of just for when I'm lounging around in the hospital. But then since I'm a first-time mom, I also have these ones that have like the little clips that come down so i got these from amazon it was a pack of three and i don't think they were very expensive but i wasn't sure which ones i was gonna like so i figured having four um would probably be okay and hopefully i'll like some of them i also don't know how long i'm going to be in the hospital for since i have high blood pressure if it's not like regulating after birth i know that i do have to stay there a little longer so that's why i probably seem like i'm overpacking but I'm also just a chronic overpacker. So I also have some socks. These are so like weird. They have little bears on them, but they are grippy socks because I don't love the hospital socks. So I figured if I had like something of my own, that would be nice. And then I also just have like regular, like short socks to go home in or lounge around in. And my mom got me these for Christmas. They're just like the little like slipper sock things. So I'm bringing these because I feel like these will be nice to have because obviously I'm giving birth in February. So I'm going to want to have my feet covered the whole time. And I just bought this set from Target last week. And it's just like, I can't even get it open. <laughs> it's just some like comfy, cozy pants. They're super loose. They have like the tie waistband. So I'm gonna bring that, and it had like a matching t-shirt. It's just a part of their like loungewear set that they had. So it's like a v-neck t-shirt. I figured that could be nice for like after I give birth, when people come to visit and stuff, I wanna make sure that I am like fully dressed. And then I did get a robe. It's not like a thick robe, but I had been reading so many things about like wanting a robe, especially for that first day. Uh, like right after you give birth, you wanna kind of get out of that gross gown and put on something that's easy for them to come in and out and check you and for breastfeeding and everything. So this one's super nice. I found it on Amazon. It has like little like ribbing. I don't even know if you can tell, but it is a lightweight one because I know I'm sweating now as it is. So I know postpartum with my hormones all over the place, I will probably want something light. And I also got a pajama set off of Amazon. Amazon and Target is like where I go. <laughs> and so it's just one of those button down. I got a t-shirt one. Because like I said, I'm worried that I might be a little hot after I give birth. And then it has just these like, I don't comfy pants with them as well. I can't even figure out where the front is. Um, so they're just like loose pants. So I think that will be a good option to have. And then my going home outfit is from Target, which this is like a really cute one. I tried it on already. I heard that that's the rule of thumb. Try it on before you go to the hospital because if it doesn't fit you now pregnant, it's not going to fit you right after you give birth because uh, like I'm still going to have the belly even <laughs> after giving birth. So this one is just, it's more presentable. So I figured going home and it would be nicer. It's just the long sleeve shirt. And then these are the same kind of like drawstring loose pants as the other black ones, but they just look a little bit more put together and they're so soft and so comfortable. So Target and Amazon for the win. Like that's where I got all of my like very nice products from let me move this bag around so i can show you what else i've got so 
I know that the hospital has Perry bottles, but this is like the upside down one if you see um, from Freedom Mom. And so I figured this might be nice just because it gives like better angles. And I'm going to take advantage of all the stuff at the hospital. Originally, I wanted to bring all my own stuff, but then I was talking to my mom about it and she was like, no, you definitely want to take advantage of everything the hospital gives you. So I'm not even bringing my own pads or anything. I'm just going to use everything that they have so that I can save my stuff for when I get home. So I also am bringing this perennial healing foam. I'm not sure if I'll want it, but I figured I might as well bring it along just to help out a little bit. And then I have some um, nursing pads. They're like the mom cozy ones. Uh, they're just the reusable ones. I'll show you one of them. Just reusable ones. And I did hear that they don't like give you any of that kind of stuff in the hospital. So you wanna make sure that you bring your own. I also, I haven't put it in yet, I don't think, but I need to bring uh, nipple cream because I know that they don't give you that either. And then this one's a little weird. I kept seeing people say like, bring a haka. So I'm bringing my haka, but like, I know it milk takes a couple days to come in. So I'm not even sure if I would need it. But just in case I had the extra room and I figured I might as well bring it because everyone was saying it was an important thing to have. And then I also have these antibacterial wipes because I hear that like, you definitely wanna wipe things down in the hospital. And so I just figured these would be nice to have as well. And then I have like so many little bags like this that are just packed with tons of different toiletries and stuff. Like this is Garrett's stuff, the only stuff that he has packed so far. So it's just body wash, shampoo, toothpaste, mouthwash. Um, I'm bringing nail files for myself, but also for the baby. Um, I also have my shower stuff and I just packed it all kind of in here. Some lotion, some Q-tips, some makeup wipes. Oh, I do have my nipple cream. Okay, so I did pack that. Um, some extra hair ties because I know I'm going to get super hot and sweaty. I'm literally sweaty right now. I don't know if you could tell I'm glistening a little bit. Um, I also, I think this is my actual shower stuff. I just had all these bags laying around the house, so I figured I might as well keep it organized. Yeah, this is just my shampoo, body wash, uh, conditioner. I need to throw in some dry shampoo. I think I probably will want that just in case I don't have time to shower. I know some people don't end up showering in the hospital just because it's so crazy. And especially if you have different like health things going on, they don't want you to be showering um, if you lose blood and stuff like that. I'm also bringing silverettes. Um, this is like the number one mom thing that everyone's told me, like when you're breastfeeding, you need these. So I have these ready for me as well. Cause I know that's like one of the main things that they don't provide is just like the different like breastfeeding things, like the nipple cream and the, um, what are these called? <laughs> Nursing pads and stuff like that. So I wanna make sure I had that as well. And then out here I have my shower shoes. I'm bringing like Birkenstocks because if I decide that I wanna wear them home, I can as well. And if I wanna wear them around like as I'm laboring, I also brought two grocery bags for like dirty clothes, anything that gets like kind of nasty. And then I also have, just packed this this morning. Some face wash. I brought like two different kinds of face wash. My contact solution and my contact case. If I know like when I'm going into the hospital, I'll bring like my nicer stuff and probably my bigger stuff. But since I wanna bring this now to appointments, just in case, I wanted to make sure I had something in case of emergency, in case I couldn't bring it. Um, that's all I have in the bag right now. I obviously need some snacks. Um, I need to pack some makeup, not crazy amounts of makeup because I, I know I won't really want to do that, but just probably some concealer and some mascara just to make me feel like a human being. And then I have to pack my charger. I got a 10 foot one so that I would be able to reach the bed because everyone was saying like, definitely get a long charger. Garrett's going to bring um, portable chargers as well in case there's like not enough outlets open. But yeah, so there's definitely last minute things I can't even think of right now that I will be packing and then he still has to pack. But now onto the fun stuff, let's look at what I packed for Ivy. I know in the past like five videos, I've said, don't mind my voice. Yes, I'm still congested. I think it's just been a pregnancy symptom, but my voice is kind of going in and out. So if that happens again, just ignore it. But now it's time for Ivy's bag. I got this diaper bag off my registry. I think it was off of Amazon, a very nice backpack, easier to carry and also something that Garrett wouldn't mind carrying too, because. 
I didn't want to do something too girly, but I wasn't 100% sure what's packed. Some of these things people say you don't need, but I kind of just packed this because it will be our diaper bag after the hospital anyway. So for starters, I have this little like cleaning pacifier wipes or for anything that like falls on the ground. I have this for, which that just is gonna go in there normally, so that's why it's packed in there. And this little thing right here, I've got some pacifiers. I am not sure what she's going to like. So I have a doctor's, or doctor's, a Dr. Brown's one. I don't know, I think this is like a nano baby. Yeah, nano baby one. And then I think this is like a ma'am. Yeah, ma'am, if that's how you say it. So three different kinds, so hopefully, she likes these if not we got so many different kinds and i know that they have soothies in the hospital but none of my siblings really liked those i don't think mom can fact check me on that <laughs> um and so i wanted to make sure i had my own i also have packed some cute little things so i've got these little booties they go with like a little sweater that i want her to wear as like an announcement photo and so these are just so cute and it's gonna be cold so she could wear these home I've got this little hat. I think I showed you guys this before for going home or just for like a picture or whatever. And then I brought tons of different bows because obviously everyone needs to know she's a girl. So I've got this little like gray one, super cute. A pink one, two pink ones. They're like different colors. One's like a darker pink and one's like a lighter pink. And then this cute, really cute white bow. Those are so adorable. I have some sharpies well one's a pen one's a sharpie and her nameplate i probably could write her name on this now but i'll just wait so this will be for one of her photos i'm not sure like what i'm going to want to do for photos that's why i just kind of brought tons of different things just in case i've got this little kit that has a brush in it a spray bottle some like nail clippers nail files a comb so just little things that i know we'll need in the hospital because they don't provide you with like anything to cut their nails and stuff. And so I know that babies can be born with like claws. So I wanted to make sure I had that. I'm just gonna repack the bag as we talk. So that is the first little compartment in here. I really didn't know how much to pack or what to pack. This was what was more controversial. Like everyone brought something different. I also have this portable sound machine called the Hush. It's also off of Amazon, so it just has different sounds. I actually honestly don't even really know how to use it. There we go. <laughs> so I charged that up, had that to bring that to, and then let's see what else I have. <clears throat> I'm bringing her name blanket. I don't really want to pull it out of here, but Ivy Elizabeth, so I can get some photos of that. I do have wipes and diapers in here, which I know is 100% not needed in the hospital. But like I said, I'm packing this like it's gonna be my everyday or diaper bag. So I figured I might as well put them in there. And just in case that she doesn't like their diapers, these are like the pure ones. So I definitely wanted to have those just in case. And then in here, I have a pink swaddle, a little newborn swaddle for her. I heard that this is nice to have because it's easier than continuously swaddling them in the hospital swaddles. I've got this super cute sweater that somebody made us that says Ivy. So that's what the little booties are gonna go with. And honestly, the hat would kind of match this too. And so that's gonna be kind of like her announcement. I'm sure I'm gonna take so many announcement photos. Don't mind me seeming like sweating. I don't know why at this point in pregnancy, I am just pouring sweat at all times of day. <laughs> And then I'm packing all newborn stuff because since she's gonna be born around 37 weeks, I'm sure she's gonna be very small. So I've got this little outfit. I figured when people like come to see her in the hospital, I'm not gonna just want her to kind of be naked, but everything I packed has these little foldable mittens because I heard that's so much easier than having like the actual mittens that just kind of like fall off all the time. And then I have this little onesie sleeper little flowers, very spring-like. And then I'm not sure which one's gonna end up being like her going home outfit, doesn't really matter. 
I like was gonna go all out for a going home outfit, but I was like, N as long as she has like cute photos for the announcements, it doesn't really matter. But this one I picked because she's gonna be born right around Valentine's Day. So I figured this would be a cute one if I wanted her to go home in it. They're a little wrinkled because I packed this like a week or two ago. And then I have a little purple swaddle for some photos and it comes with a headband, but it kind of looks like it could be like way too big for her head. But I wanted all of the options for photos because I'm just extra like that. And then I do have a breastfeeding cover as well. I know that like, I don't 100% need this in the hospital, but just in case, you know, family is there, I don't wanna like just be feeding out in the open. So I have that as well. I think that's kind of everything that I packed. I don't know if I'm forgetting anything, but I know that the hospital does have like a lot of stuff for babies, so, like the nose, like sucker and stuff. I didn't even bother bringing that because I know that they provide that. And honestly, a lot of the stuff, like they even will provide sometimes like little like shirts and like little clothes if you don't have that. So I'm sure I'll be fine, but this is the stuff that I wanted to bring, the stuff that I wanted for pictures. That's like the biggest thing is bringing stuff so that you can take announcement photos. So I think that's everything that I'm bringing and hers is definitely cuter than my stuff. And I'm just like so excited. And obviously we have her car seats over there and I even brought like a cover for it cause it's gonna be cold when we're there. And we probably should put that in the car. I think we might put that in the car today just to be safe because we haven't even tested that, but it has like the base and everything. And then Garrett's gonna pack last minute. He's gonna bring a pillow and blanket and stuff. I was going to, but then I was reading some things saying like, you aren't gonna be 100% comfortable in the hospital, like no matter what you bring. And you'd rather not get like gunk and gross stuff on your nice blankets. So he's gonna bring a blanket and pillow because obviously he has to like make his own bed and everything. And I know that they have them there, but they're just like not that comfy. And then he'll probably just bring like two pairs of sweats, a hoodie, snacks, his laptop to pass time by. Like his bag is a super easy one to pack. And then I am going back and forth on bringing a breastfeeding pillow. I don't have the boppy. I have like the my best or my breast friend one, um, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring it just because it's like so bulky. I've been going back and forth. I need to ask some people before I go. And then obviously snacks. And I have a few last minute things that need to be thrown in, like my glasses, my retainers right before we leave. But this is the majority of it. And I feel good having it packed. And I cannot believe that I have an appointment today, actually. And we should be able to find out when I'm being induced today. So I cannot believe that it's like two-ish weeks away. It's insane. And we are so excited to meet her. I'm so done being pregnant. The past like couple weeks have been very tough especially this past week i'm just in pain um i can feel lots of pressure down there and they are checking for dilation today so i i am only 35 weeks since my first baby so i don't think i'll be dilated but i have been feeling a lot of pressure and um my pelvic bone is definitely hurting so we'll see what happens and that is all i have for this video and that's all i have for the hospital bag but the next video is going to be super fun because we have finally pretty much finished the nursery just a couple finally or final touches um and then you'll see that video as well and then the next one should be her birth vlog so i hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video